Hello and welcome to another uh, cardio workout. Um, so this week uh, we're going to really focus on doing a lot of hopping. Um, you'll need a, a bench or something uh, to get uh, your back or rear foot up on uh, for, for the Bulgarian hops, but uh, you won't need the pylons like in uh, previous weeks. So um, let's get same style as always, four groups, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds transition. Um, let's get into our warm up. So as always, let's start with leg swings. So forward and back, getting our hips mobile. And other side. And side to side, I'm just gonna move the bench a little bit out of the way here. And switch sides. And let's get into some squats. So nice hip width apart, drop down, come up, drop down, come up. Find your own pacing for this. We're really just trying to activate things through our legs. With all the hopping we're gonna do, it's good to get prepared. And lunges, so I'm gonna step back and step forward, step back and forward. And switch sides. And arm swings. So opening up the chest, getting the shoulders loose. Got our legs warmed up, our legs loose. Got to do the same with the upper body. So we're, so we're ready to throw those punches. I open up my palms and close them as I come over top and I'm just switching which arm goes high, which arm goes low. And arm circles, palms down, slow build till we get to fulls. Whatever your full may be. And palms up, let's go in reverse. Same thing, slowly build till you get to full. And great. Let's get right into our workout. So as always, we'll start with our punches. So this time we're gonna do jab cross. So jab cross, jab cross. So make sure you get that swivel through the hips when you're throwing that cross punch. The jab's just a little poke. And then the cross is your little power punch there. Switching sides if you haven't already. Great, hot feet. So we're gonna be in a little bit of a quarter squat and then we're just gonna move our feet as fast as we can like raindrops or popcorn, whatever analogy works for you. This was always my most hated drill in basketball back when I was a kid, but it's a great one. Burns the calves. And relax. And so bunny hops. So we're gonna just hop on one leg for 15, and then we'll switch and hop on the other for 15. So just nice gentle hops. The other leg's just kind of dangling. Five. 
feel a little bit of a burn through the quad, probably more through the calf. Switch sides. Again, this is just supposed to be gentle, not supposed to be too hard. Just want to get our calves and Achilles prepped for the other hopping and relax. So that's round one of group one. We'll move right into round two. So jab cross. One, two. 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 Switching sides. And relax. Back to hot feet. Show you a side profile this time and go. So you notice I have that nice flat back, but I lean forward, have a hinge through my hips, a little bit of a bend through my knees. And you can see how rapidly I'm trying to move. I'm just trying to repeat the pattern over and over again, trying to land on the middle of my feet each time and relax. And bunny hops again. So again, I'll show you a lateral view just so you can see what it looks like from the side. So just hopping. I just have this leg kind of dangling. And you can either do a little bit of arm action here or you can kind of just hold them. And switch sides. So again, it's just like you're using a skipping rope and skipping on one leg. And sometimes even doing that action kind of helps and relax. Good job. Through two rounds. So one more round of group one. Let's start. Job cross. Jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab, jab cross. Switch sides. Notice how I get that hip swivel in there. It's not just about throwing the punch. Power comes from the hips. Relax, last round of hot feet. And go. It's when it really starts to burn. But I put this at the start for a reason. This is deadly when you put it at the end. Almost there, three, two, one, and relax. Woo. Last round of bunny hops. Shake out the legs, get the blood flowing a little bit before we get into it, and go. So again, I'm just gonna pretend I'm skipping. It's almost like a distraction technique. Switch sides. And relax. Good job. Quick drink before we move into group two. So jab, cross, add the hook now. So jab, cross, hook. So the hook's the sweeping punch. Like that. Switch sides. And 
and relax. Butt kicks. So for these, I'm gonna start with a march. So just marching, pulling the heels into the butt, one at a time. And then we'll move into a jog. Same thing. And then a run. And relax. Bulgarian hops are next. So find yourself a bench or a chair or a table, something to get your leg up on. We're gonna drop down and then just do a little hop. Drop down, hop, drop down, hop. So find your pace, make sure you stay balanced. This one's really gonna burn your quad. And sides. So you gotta find what pace works for you. And relax. Good job. So that's our group two. Back into jab cross hook. Switch sides. And relax, butt kicks. Show you a side profile this time. So same thing, I'm gonna start in a march. So just marching. You can stay here if you want the whole time. Use it as kind of a recovery station if you'd like. I'm gonna move into a jog now. So maybe this is where you feel more comfortable. or the run. So you can just see how the cycle changes when I go to a run. It's much more fast paced. And back into our, our Bulgarian hops. Foot up, get bounced, drop, hop, 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 hop. I'm only getting a couple inches off the ground. So it's not big and explosive. It's more controlled. Switching sides. Just explosive enough to get me airborne and relax. That'd be our hardest plyo today. And let's get back into round three of group two. Switch sides. And relax. Butt kicks. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna start at a march, but feel free to move to a jog or a run all the way through. Whatever works on your level, whatever you're going for. And again, if you just rather stay at the march, get a little bit more of a recovery in, go for it. Or you can stay at the jog. Or you can just go run and butt kick the whole time and relax. Last round of Bulgarian hops. Foot up, get bounced, drop and go. If you need a little micro break, 
take it. Good time to do it is on the exchange, right? So we can take a little bit more time if you need it before we switch. Sometimes it allows you to kind of increase your pace just by taking those few seconds. Whew. Legs are burning. We're just halfway through. So now jab, cross, uppercut. So jab, cross, uppercut. Jab, cross, uppercut. One, two, three. 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 Switch sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And relax. So high knees. So we did the butt kicks. Now we're going to work in reverse, work on our hip flexors instead of our hamstrings. So again, I'm going to start in a march. So just driving the knees up, bringing them up so that the thigh is parallel to the ground. So nice and high. And then we'll move into a jog. And then we'll move into a run. And relax. Mogul hops. So this time we're just gonna do a little side to side hops. So on one leg, going side to side. So it'll look like this. So just a little back and forth. Getting ready for our group four when we do lateral hops, which are gonna be big jumps to the side. Switching side, or big hops to the side, I should say. So just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And relax. Good job. I'm starting to sweat pretty good. Hope you are too. Get ready. Jab, cross, uppercut. Jab, cross, uppercut. This is by far the hardest one to coordinate for me, I find. My body doesn't like that crossed uppercut motion. Oh, you can see when I try and switch sides, right? Couldn't even coordinate it, right? And relax. High knees. So again, I'll show you a side profile here. And I'm gonna start with a march. So the thing you should notice here from the side is how my toes come up each time. So my foot is also flat to the ground. And when I move into the jog, that's equally as important. So I gotta remember to bring my toes up. And then when I move into the run, you really have to work on it. And it's very, very challenging to do. And relax. Breathe. Get ready and mogul hops. So compared to the butt kicks, I find the high knees much more challenging. It's probably because my hip flexors are a little bit weaker than my hamstrings. Let's switch sides if you haven't already. Try and get closer to the camera here so you can see my feet. And relax. Quick breather. Then we got round three of group three. All right. So I'm going to show you a side profile this time. I don't usually do that with the punch combos because it's easier to see the timer to make sure I'm on time. Switching sides. And relax. 
high knees for round three. So start with the march. So again, you can just stay at the march, especially if you find it as challenging as I do and your heart rate's really elevated and you're struggling to keep up with the modal hops, you can stay there. For the rest of you, you can move to the jog or you can move to the run. And mogul hops, final round of these. Ready and go. So just side to side here. Switch. And, oh, sorry. And relax. Good, quick drink. Then we'll move into our last group. Let's get ready and go. So now all four punches. So jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Switch sides. Whoop. And relax. It's an icky shuffle. So we're gonna go quick feet on a diagonal up. Then you can go either backwards or turn around on the way back. So it's out like that on a diagonal, 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 diagonal then backwards if you can, or you can just switch and turn around. Whatever works for you. And relax. I'm gonna move my bench out of the way so that I can show you a side profile on the next round. So lateral hops, the difference between them and mogul hops is we're really going to jump side to side here. So we're going to hop, land, hop, land, hop, land, and then hop backwards or the opposite direction. And let's switch legs. So hop, 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 and then hop, hop, hop. I can get a couple more in and relax. So that's our last group. Let's get into round two of these. So jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Switch sides. And relax. So icky shuffle again, I'm gonna show you a side profile as we go through here. And go. And relax. Lateral hops. Get ready and go.
and relax. Final round. Give it what you have left. Let's see some powerful punches here. So jump cross hook uppercut. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switch sides. And relax. Icky shuffle again. I'm going to stick with the lateral because I have a bit more space. And go. Try and keep your feet quick. But you'll notice if your heart rate's real high like mine, you might just have to slow down temporarily just to get your footwork back and your breathing back. And relax. Last round of lateral hops. You'll notice that I'm trying to keep balance every time I land. So I'm not out of sync. And if I lose my balance, I'm slowing down as I go through or even touching a foot down just so <clears throat> I stay in control here. And that's it for me. Let's get right into our cool down. As always, we'll start with a quad stretch. So find something to balance on if you need it. Grab your leg, pull up. Switch sides. I can tell I pushed myself today. I can feel my heart rate up. I can definitely feel the sweat dripping down. Hope you got the same workout. Hamstring stretch. It's all to our abilities, right? So you don't have to go keep at my speed. You can slow it down if you need to. Or you may find you need to speed it up because I'm going too slow. And that's fine as well. Groin stretch. Switch sides. Glute stretch so you can find something to balance on if you need to. You can even do this lying down if you want. And tricep stretch. Switch sides. And chest stretch, find a wall, thumb up, hand at shoulder height or chest height, rotate away till you feel a stretch through your arm and into your chest area.
And that's it. Congrats on completing another cardio workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got as sweaty as I did. And I'll see you next time.